On August 30th, 2012, Reverend Phil Snyder gave a speech at a meeting of the Springfield, Missouri City Council, though at first it sounded like he was speaking out against an ordinance listing homosexuals as a protected minority. There is a twist ending. I'm sorry, I brought the wrong notes with me this evening. Uh, I've borrowed my argument from the wrong century. Uh, it turns out what I've been reading to you this whole time are direct quotes from white preachers from the 1950s and the 1960s, all in support of racial segregation. All I have done is simply take out the phrase racial integration and substituted it with the phrase gay rights. I hope you will not make the same mistake. I hope you will stand on the right side of history. Tell me about this video. It did go up in August, but recently it started getting people's attention. Why do you think that's happening now? Even though uh, it, it was a, a speech given over the summer, uh, this movement uh, is something that's just taking place across our country. And uh, it's such an important moment in our nation's history that uh, whenever, whenever we find uh, speeches that really resonate with those of us who are trying to, to work towards equality for all people, um, well, you know, it's, it's going to be picked up, I think, uh, uh, even though uh, it's actually a couple of months older, uh, whenever it's actually uh, uh, delivered. How long did it take you to come up with this spin and this speech? Is this something you've been thinking about for a while? I tell people that it was like the easiest speech I've ever written, but like the most difficult speech I've ever delivered. Hmm. You know, the idea just hit me uh, when I was listening to different folks, uh, particularly religious folks in the Springfield community, uh, talking about the merits of this uh, non-discrimination ordinance. And, and I remember the thought going to my, through my mind, like, my God, this sounds just like the stuff I heard about people saying in the 50s and 60s, you know, regarding segregation. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I got the idea to, to look up some of the, the speeches that were used uh, back in those days. And uh, I was just, you know, uh, cutting and, or copying and pasting uh, different quotes from uh, this era. Now, it turns out, interestingly, um, one of the quotes I used, a, a friend of mine told me, actually uh, was about slavery, not segregation, which drives the point home all the more. What was the reaction from the city council and the community after this? Yeah, well, you know, uh, uh, Springfield uh, uh, was set to pass this ordinance. In fact, it had the votes on the city council to do so, uh, overwhelmingly, actually. But Springfield being located in the heart of the Bible Belt, well, that's when the religious folk really decided to come out uh, in opposition. And so they had uh, 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 tried to get like 20,000 people to surround the city hall to be against this uh, uh, ordinance. And all of a sudden, the uh, council, whenever they were going to go and vote on a measure they thought that they would pass without much problem, well, all this pushback from the religious community uh, made them uh, table the motions. And, and it's like I don't have a secular humanist or an atheist calling me up or sending me an e email telling me about how problematic it is. It's only from a religious perspective. And so I was hoping that if we could dispel, you know, some of those religious arguments by saying, look, religious folk, you said this about segregation. You said this about slavery. You said these kinds of things uh, to uphold patriarchal norms. Um, let's recognize the way that the Bible often gets used and abused by people in order to just, you know, conform to their own uh, cultural prejudices. It's because of my faith that uh, I am inclusive of others. You know, uh, whenever I think about uh, the figure of Jesus, I see him as someone who was always advocating uh, on the side of those who have been marginalized by society. On, on, you know, advocating, standing in solidarity with those who have been hurt by the governing powers that be. And, you know, you look at the entire Bible, there's like six verses that talk about homosexuality, but it's not even in reference to what we would today uh, refer to as like a same-sex uh, committed uh, relationship. Clearly, you know, there are all kinds of norms in the Bible that people don't pay attention to. Okay, the Bible says you're not supposed to loan with interest to those who are vulnerable. Well, guess what? In Springfield, Missouri, there are all kinds of religious re affiliated credit unions that loan with interest. And you know, people do not bat an eye at those kinds of things. There's a great quote that goes back to St. Augustine. Uh, he says that if love is the only measure, then the only measure of love is love without measure. And so people can look at the Bible. They can use the Bible however they want. But if it does not uh, pass the test of love, well, then we have not yet understood the divine scriptures, as St. Augustine put it. It is a pleasure talking to you today and really talking to the person behind this huge video that has impacted a lot of people. For more info, of course, check out his website, 
philsnyder.wordpress.com.